Hey traders, control the trade here and I wanted to make a video about Finviz. I've done these in the past where we talk about short squeezes and how to find short squeeze setups. And today I want to do something a little different. One of my favorite features of Finviz is the portfolio. So what you want to do is head over to finviz.com. You can sign up for a free account and there's also a link for that in the description of the video. If you've never used Finviz before, definitely this isn't really a beginner's video. If you just follow these steps, it's pretty easy. When you first get to Finviz, it can look rather overwhelming. So again, right now we're focusing on the portfolio section. There's a drop down list right here. It shows previous portfolios that I've created. And I like it because it can look back and see some different ideas that I might have had and whether they were successful or not. You're going to get a lot of ads in Finviz and it's a free platform. So you deal with it. That's OK. Of course, there's a paid version, too, which I'm on the free version right now, to be honest, but the paid version looks like it has an incredible amount of bells and whistles and benefits. So as you can see, one of my portfolios is up here. I called it risk reward breakouts. Funny thing is, this looks like it did really well. However, I mean, this is two years and the way the market has gone up. I mean, these are some good names, though. I'll tell you that uh, these are from 2019, March 2019, looks like a lot of these were um, straight from ARC, I think a couple years ago. Now it's been two years. And now, of course, Kathy Wood is all the rage. Cool to look back and see what you picked. Iridium is a Ron Barron pick, and I think I threw in a couple of my own, but most of these look like Kathy Wood plays to me. I probably pulled them from ARC's portfolio or from an interview she did or a couple of interviews back then. Anyway, the point is it's a great way to track these stocks. You can choose the amount of shares. You can have it evenly weighted, and I'll show you what that looks like, but this is a portfolio. that You can also edit it. You can open it in Screener. So then if we want to just take a look at the charts on these, you can just go like this. I think that's a pretty neat feature. But let's this video is about how to make the portfolio, not so let's take a look at how to do that. So there's a couple ways. We're back to portfolio. And you can see here we can also create a new portfolio. Even while I'm in this one right here. So this one you can do from scratch. You can start typing your tickers in, the date the shares, the price, and you can do get today's price. Let's just try this real quick. We'll do Pfizer 500, get today's price. There we go. Intel. So this is a slower way to do it, I'd say. Under 500, get today's price. Now you could also click this recalculate equally weighted $100,000 portfolio. And it says, do you want to create, you guys probably can't see this because it's cut off, but it says the pop-up came up. Do you want to create equally weighted $100,000 portfolio? So I said, okay. And you can see it changes the amount of shares. So you don't even have to type that amount of shares in if you don't want to, which will show you that. So that's why you can create from scratch. Another way is to use this screener. And let's say that you, depending on how you trade, maybe you trade, Maybe you want to create a portfolio that shows stocks that have high short interest or a float short. And we're going to click on over 30% so we can get this down to just a couple pages or one page. And let's say you just wanted to look at the volume. So we really want to narrow this down. So let's go to let's go to average volume and we'll, let's just say over 1 million. Hopefully that should get this list down. Okay, one page. So now I can make a portfolio out of this one page if I wanted to and just track these stocks. So these are stocks that have a high volume of shares traded and also have a high short float as well. So what I would do is click on save as portfolio. And then I got another pop up here. Again, you may not be able to see it. It's cut off in the video. Do you want to create equally weighted $100,000 portfolio? I say, okay. You can see the today's closing price, you can see the amount of shares for my evenly weighted portfolio. And that's how easy it is to just make one quick portfolio. And you also want to go over here, this is important, is you want to make portfolio name. So we can call it something like short. We just have to know because you have so many characters, you have to know kind of what your abbreviations would be. So float short, 30% plus. And you could put the date, or you could put anything you want here. Either way, it's up to you how you're going to name the portfolio, just something that you can recognize and that's going to be easy for you to identify what is in that portfolio. Well, that's a quick look at this feature in Finviz, which I really like to use, and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found some value in it. If you did, 
please hit the uh, like button and subscribe. And until the next video, thanks a lot. And remember, don't let the trade control you.